think we... Hey, everybody. Welcome to Halo and Horns. A... Hmm. I see, I thought an, interesting, an, an interesting game between the Horn, the Halo... And the Halo. And the Mortal that we're trying to keep to keep on task. Um... Let's let's have the uh, the the mortal introduce themselves uh, as their real real life, and we'll go around the go around in a circle. I was muted. Sorry. Hi, I am Janie. What did I just do? Okay, I'm okay. Great. <laughs> I'm totally in character right now. I swear. Uh, what else do I say? playing a game <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. sorry <laughs> uh miguel do you want to go yeah. next hey everyone i'm miguel i will be playing the part of the angels tonight on halo in horns uh you can find me around the internet twitter instagram etc at miguel underscore classico where i tweet about my fun gm dm things uh let me the Hand it off over to my devilish counterpart. And I am more shoddy. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at more underscore shoddy. Um, and I am in several places. Uh, a lot of times here on TTRPG. Um, and soon to be on uh, Classical Gliza. And just in general on anywhere you could see me. If you see more shoddy, it's likely me. Um, and this is Halo and Horns. Um, let's, uh, start with, uh, Janie, who are you going to be playing as the mortal today? A hand. <laughs> Uh-oh, there we go. I'm playing, I'm muted. That's who I'm playing. No, <laughs> I'm not playing Janie, a character that's totally not the same. Jeannie, I swear. Jeannie. Right. Okay. All right. So now we both have uh, just as an introduction to this game. I am, I am the devil. I suppose I'm not actually the devil. I'm a small d devil. Um, and Miguel is the whole is the halo. Well, and we you know, each have, there. yeah, we each have our own tasks, trying to get our our mortal to complete our tasks um, as they go. So. Janie, could you actually take off your headphones real quick? Half a second. Yeah, it's just half a second. So. I can't do anything about that. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Um, so, Miguel, what are you yes. going to try to get Janie to do today? Excellent, yeah. So, uh, as today's angel, it is going to be my objective to, to try to get Janie to uh, take over as the live-in uh, director of operations at the Dolly Parton Home for Children, uh, where, where she will be caretaker uh, and primary caregiver to over two dozen uh, wayward orphans. Okay. For no pay. For, oh. <laughs> for it's, no. I mean, it's, it's like a residency thing, like room and board, and that kind of, you know, it's a wash. I thought, I thought you were supposed to be the halo, not the horn. Hey, no good deed, etc. I see, I see. Well, I, on the other hand, am trying to make sure that she lives lives their life to their fullest, mm -hmm. and going mm -hmm. to get them to go on a very messy and very public bender throughout downtown for at least the next twenty four hours. I will. Join you know, them. it. There you go. You can <laughs> join them as well. Uh, as it, you, you know, in this day and age, who knows what could go viral. <laughs> So, shall we? Thank you. Okay, Janie. Why don't you go ahead and set the first scene for us? Where are you at? Oh, I the guy should mute. You know, I changed my mind. I am at a computer class this morning. Okay. <laughs> um, 
at a shop learning how to use a set of headphones because clearly I don't know how. <laughs> I, I love it. And I was like, how do you take the mute off when you're on Zoom? That's why I'm like asking because I have no idea. And as you sit there frustrated, trying to figure out how to take this, this, these headphones off of Zoom, um, a, a young scamp you just drifts into the class um, and comes up to you and says, oh, oh, hello, miss. I'm young Gregory from the Dolly Parton School for Orphans. Let me, let me do, it just fixes it right up for you. Uh, and then hands you a flyer to a, a musical performance they're putting on later this evening and then disappears like the wind. Oh, well, that was interesting. I guess I'll be going to this show put on by orphans. Um, suddenly out of the, from the hallway, you just hear this poof, and hold on one second. You see this guy come in just, and it's, he just kind of sits at the front of the class, just kind of drinking. You know, you don't really need to, like, do any of that kind of stuff. They have things like Geek Squad. You know that, right? Yeah, but that doesn't help, like, when I'm at home in the middle of a call and, like, I'm always forgetting or messing it up somehow. I don't think I'm made for devices. That's okay. You can do everything on your phone. Uh, my, I can play games, you said? Can you cook this one for dessert? Sorry. How about this one for you? No. Those sorry, or those orphans, man. They're just running around everywhere. Yeah, they they um, want me to make a funnel cake, and it's like I don't have the stuff to make it, you know. So I'm gonna have to like give them some money for the, but there's no truck. And anyway, I don't know how to get uh, how to work Mom, this thing. Mom, we can make dinner. Mom, we can bake something sweet. Mom, we can bake something sweet. I don't know how to bake anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have any baking skills. Do you have baking skills? The, the, the instructor of the, the technology class kind of shuffles this some glassy old drinking person. Sir, it is nine o'clock in the morning. Um, so unfortunately, uh, the culinary school's courses are, are down the street. We're working on Zoom headphones here today. Uh, I do have a, a couple of young, what's the word? Uh, not interns, they're too young for that. Uh, little youngsters working for college credit who might be able to help you out. And, and Gregory returns with his, his little pal Susie as well. Uh, they're all too eager to help you out. Mentioning that back at the Dolly Parton home, they have a full-sized uh, kitchen, in, which includes uh, a funnel cake baking station, incidentally. Oh, wow. We should definitely go there. Little Susie, her eyes light up like starlight. And then she just she locks eyes with you and says, Miss, that would be... Just delightful. Why don't you just come on down with us? Yeah, certainly. Just and they, they, you know, they take your hands and and they lead you down the hallway, uh, skipping as they go. Um, this is nice. Yeah, not what I was expecting today, but it's nice. Is it too? As you as you head out the head out the building at the front front of the building. Uh, there is a group of, of you know, some people it's the same age as you, just like standing around. They're handing out flyers. These flyers say that there is a, um, a like a party tonight. Like, and it, you bring a free can for for a charity. You get entry to this party, and it has like, you know, they're kind of they're I would say college student ish. So it was like free booze, free food, you know, free food. And everything and like oh hey how's it going here have one and they're just like rushing you with a it's... bunch of flyers 
um, is so I, can I go to the orphanage and then to the um, concert? I mean, you're, I, there's an orphanage. I didn't know there was an orphanage around here. Yeah, I'm gonna go bake some um, treats for the orphans. You want to come with me? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's go. And you know, they're they're gonna walk down with you. Like, you know, we're really really excited about this. You know, especially because you know the, the the charity that we're funding um, is just the food pantry, uh, and they're really really excited to get as many people in as possible. That's great. I wonder if they give food to the orphanage. Little uh, Susie, you know, the awesome. poor orphan. Little Susie looks up at this flyer man and says, "Yes, sir. Would you come down and and make food with us?" She holds out her little orphan hand to his, and it's just. It's wet and sticky, and she just grabs his hand. You know, children's hands always just, they're always sticky, right? Yeah. I have a niece. I know how it goes. Um, and then, yeah, so Susie just kind of wedges herself, right, between the flyer man and her new best friend is it, as she leads them down down the street. Sun, The sun is shining just a little bit brighter, you know what I mean, as, as you see the grounds of the Dolly Parton Home for Wayward Children, um, it's 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 like almost just immaculate, right? The the front gate just swings open for you, as if you were meant to be there, and you go up these like this like cobbled stone path leading right up to the nice front door. Um, well, this is awfully nice. Isn't it? There's a goat. It it's like eating a can. But like really cute. It's really cute. It's not weird at all. You know what I mean? It's not weird at all. Yeah. You know, I had a you... dream like this once. <laughs> Did you? Oh, this is great. This is great. Yes, I will buy lots of fruit roll ups for all of you. Charles. <laughs> Suddenly a fruit roll up fruit roll up truck rolls up to the front. Uh, and someone jumps out. Uh, it's just like an older looking gentleman, about f- mid forties. And he says, I need, I need like 30 kids to take a bunch of fruit roll-ups to this party that's going on tonight. There, there, there's like a clowns and a jump, jump station, but it's being sponsored by fruit roll-up, but we need to go station. now. Can I go? Uh, tons of kids pour out of, of the Dolly Parton home. I mean, you've got Gary, Ace, Grizzly, there's Macy, Little Liz, um, Lady Brisbane. They all just go running. Uh, that's the groundskeeper, actually. Oh, I guess I don't have to bake now? Uh, there's still plenty more that are really excited. Like, they, the, the kids, they pull a classic, um, you know, one on him, we'll say, where they each grab a fruit roll-up, then bolt immediately back into the school. The home. It's a home. It's not a school. Maybe it's both. They have like well, a, I, it's like it's a little homeschool home school. curriculum, you know. Well, I guess I will open a fruit roll up for um, uh, um Charlie, Amy. orphan. Amy Charles. I mean Charles. Okay, sorry. Charles. Charles. <laughs> well, I open a fruit roll up for Charles, who is a little boy who just decided he wanted a fruit roll up. He's also beside me. Uh, I will walk in and try not to trip over my own feet. Because I'm a little bit clumsy, especially when I'm opening fruit roll, which always stick together. You walk in, these- uh, a, a stately older lady uh, is there to greet you. Um, she's wearing like a like a piano key necktie. I don't know why I said that. Um, <clears throat> she's the music teacher. That's why the necktie makes sense. Uh, we're gonna call her Miss Turnips, and Miss Turnips. It's like, well, welcome in, Jeannie. How would you like a tour of the facilities? And she has a dog, whatever your favorite kind of dog is, it's there. Oh, yeah, sure thing, Mrs. McDonough. I don't know what your name is. What's your name? I'm sorry, you know mine. Miss Turnips, pleasure to meet you. You got the cutest poodle ever. Boom, it's a poodle. From from across the hallway, uh, an older bald gentleman. (laughs) comes out um, and it's uh his name is mr potato he has it right across you can see it it's just as mr p it would. and he says you know that dog doesn't belong to you 
And he's looking straight at Miss Turnip. Oh, well, I, I never. Uh, Frizzles has been in the family for years. Well, it's a cute dog. Who does it belong to? Well, technically the dog belongs to the orphanage, but Miss Turnip keeps saying that it's hers. Well, technically, I belong to the orphanage as well. Like, it, the dog came on, Wait, came, on came, my, came onto the property, <clears throat> and but she never went to go see if she could find the actual owner. I think well, it's just Frizzles is here for the children, just like I am. You know, all of us here devote ourselves to the children. Janie, do you have something you're devoted to? Um, yes, but not these kids. I just came here because it was a nice thing to do to help them. Oh, noble of you. How about that tour? She says and we get to the, uh, there's the, the tea room. I think Dolly Parton would have installed the tea room in this place. Um, both sweetened and unsweetened because she's Southern, so I know that's a thing. Why Absolutely. unsweetened? That's... Oh, thank you. No, yeah, no, there shouldn't be unsweetened, just sweetened. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she, she's just trying, you know, she's trying to serve all, all kids. It's the oh, unsweetened okay. for me, because, like, my dad yeah, would be like, oh. it's worth it for the sweet tea, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unsweet tea, I never... Miss Turnips is like, I, I understand. It's quite unconventional, but you know, um, some of the kids, they just get so, they get so worked up with all of the sugar. We have to do what's best for the children. Do you need more sugar? Are you short on it? Oh. I can get you some sugar for the, uh, to, so you can sweeten all the tea. Well, you know, normally the, the sugaring decision would be one left up to our um, head CEO. No, that's not right either. I don't have a CEO. So. Our, uh, our, our head main mistress. Head, head mistress or master. I don't know. You know, it could be anyone. But, you know, currently the position is conveniently vacant. Oh. Uh, how much does it pay? Well, you know, pay is a subjective word, really. Um, there's always, you know, the goodness... The, of your heart is, you know, worth its own reward, they say. Right. That from, doesn't from, really pay for all my subscriptions. From uh, from around the corner, that uh, fruit roll up uh, driver comes around and goes, "Yeah, you know, the uh, oh, the event that we're that we're uh, running has actually got a organic fruit, and I think they actually have some job openings." Oh, they do. How much mm -hmm. do they pay? Uh, hold on. I think it's actually on your phone. You can look it up. It's uh, www. Oh. dot uh, organic fire fire festival. dot com. Each time you go to look it up, you just can't get that phone unlocked. Like no matter what you try, <laughs> I it don't, just doesn't. I can't my pin code. <laughs> oh, you know I what? Got it. You know, I, I'm sure that there's a there's it's a it's a bunch of bunch of kids running it. You know, I'm sure one of them is a tech head. They can probably help you know, get that. They probably work at Apple. But yeah, I I just I can't figure out how to work these things. It's so difficult. Well, I mean, let's well we can go find somebody. Okay, but I gotta. Right. I know I'm gonna bake some stuff for these orphans first. Well. I need the orphans at the thing, so let's just all go together. We can pick them up some food. Well, I mean, there's orphans here and orphans there. They're everywhere, apparently. Yes, all, everywhere. Um, yeah. No, as, as when you mentioned baked goods, Miss Turnip is there, and she has uh, an apron, you know, matching ones for you and her. Uh, unfortunately, none for the fruit roll-up man, who she's kind of <laughs> starts scooting off the premise. Uh, he starts throwing fruit roll ups everywhere. Mr. Also, you want to. Okay, I can try to add those to it. I don't know how it'll taste. <laughs> it, it could be great, you know. Miss um, Turnip suggests a reduction. You just melt down the fruit roll ups and use them as a glaze on the uh, on the funnel cake. Uh, 
leads you in. The the kitchen cabinets all have engraved, or they're all engraved with a, like a likeness of Dolly Parton. Um, you know, she's like hugging kids and them and stuff. Uh, pantries are stocked and whatnot. And she lets you uh, take point, right? Just puts you right in front of the, the, the funnel cake machine. It's just like a push of a button in it, and it spits out like a like a perfect like pizza sized funnel cake. Oh, this is nice and easy. She's like, yeah, our uh, our former head mistress used to start her day with. No, that's ter- that's terrible. <laughs> what happened? It's for breakfast every day. Like then, then, oh. then uh, just suddenly, uh, a mid-sized orphan. They're taller than the other orphans. Uh, you don't normally see this orphan. You know, every one of them is always like tiny Tim size. You know, this one's a bit older. Uh, he comes in and he just looks like looking at the. That's not how you make a funnel cake. Well, that's an easy... How do you make a funnel cake? You're supposed to take the batter and go like this. That's how you do it at a festival. Okay, but this is a button you press. See, watch. Yeah, and I'm gonna... It's like it's like making... Uh, it's like cooking, like, you know, uh, fake food versus getting the real good stuff. You know, you need... Funnel festival fried. food is way... Always tastes way better. So why don't you just try it? Let's try it. Let's see how it tastes. You take half of this one, I'll take half of it, okay? Fine. So he, he grabs he grabs the one half. And he's got like powdered sugar all over his face. And that fruit roll up is just like drizzling off his face as well. <laughs> I'm gonna try my half. Ah. I'm assuming these are really good funnel cakes. I don't know. I like the ones at the fair better. Well, we can go to the fair one day. Well, I mean, there are festivals too. Is there a festival going on right now? Yeah, but um, I look at the flyer, and I don't know if kids can go to it. No, please, you chose. It says it's su- suddenly at the bottom of the flyer. It, sh- it suddenly shows family friendly. I guess we can go after I make these funnel cakes that I promised to make. And, he, and then he looks over your shoulder. Oh, no, over over your hand. Oh, we can go to that. I'm sure they have funnel cakes there. Yeah, but I promised to make some, so I'm just going to press this button a bunch of times. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, press it. And I mean, they could stay here and we can go. Well, you, you help me. I'll press the button. You put them on plates, okay? Okay. Plates are right over there. Okay. And then he's like running around, grabbing plates. But they're all over the place. And, you know, then he starts like spinning one plate. Look what I can do. Okay, let me try to let me try to toss the funnel cake on there to see if you can keep it while I toss it. And I'm okay. going to try to toss the funnel cake onto the plate to see if it, it can okay. keep it spinning. Okay. <laughs> and it falls. Oh. That was pretty good. Frizzles comes in and just devours it. Poodles, <laughs> poodle styles. And then gone. Is that good you for dogs? A... No. A funnel cake is... I think funnel cake is not as bad as something, so I'm not sure. But you did a good job spitting it. I should get another one. It like, runs off. <laughs> The rest of the kids Dad. come fi- is piling in, right? Gary, Ace, Grizzly, all of them. Macy, Liz. Yeah, I remember those names. Um, right. And then they, they pick up the kit, the, our, our plate spinner, right? They, they just like heave them up on their shoulders and they're just like, grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. It's the thing they always do to try to get them to cheer up when he's being a, a, a festival thirsty grumpster. Hey now, um, I, I, I'm gonna have to put you put you uh, put you on your heels on that one, okay? Who can be grumpy about going to the fair or festivals? Okay, that's fair. All right. Um, yeah, and then they, they they parade you around for a bit, or him around for a bit, and then all sit down and like, what? It doesn't matter that the plates are scattered and all weird, and about every kid finds one and it's like just ready for their funnel kick. Yeah, everybody has funnel cake, and um, 
I guess I'll just kind of I'll have another one because they're so good, and then kind of just clean up behind them, make sure they don't make too big of a mess. Very considerate. The kids take notice and they're like extra well behaved uh, as you do. They they help you help them clean up. You know, they they like form a, a a line. They start singing like Sound of Music style, and they do all the dishes. It's like a total three sink situation, right? So it's all manual. They can't. So there's no dishwasher here. Um, but in just like a snap of a finger, it's all cleaned up, and they're like, "Wow, we've never been that organized before." I wonder what's different about right now and this isn't heavy handed at all (laughs) 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 well i've always had a way with things but um after we finish here it's time for the festival and uh grizzly seems to be the natural leader of of the kids um oh the festival seems so far away well you could just stay here with us and all of their, their their eyes just glow up like kittens right um like we'd love to put on a show for you we wrote a song and everything oh, okay he's also adorable they're all just like right one of them has a little ukulele ready to go and everything uh and then they lead you to the music room where miss turnips is She's like sitting at the piano, you know, it's like it's a total like elementary school recital thing. Uh, and it is horrible, right? Oh, but no, they're no. We pouring... need to hear this song. Go ahead. I don't have one. Go um, on, go ahead. I will just uh, hold on. I need to find YouTube music, find WAP, and no, uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's bad, right? But they're kids, but they're putting their heart and some hearts and souls into it, and uh miss turnips kind of like asides and she's like i know like you know they really just need a little guidance and i'm sure they can get it together i'm not a great music teacher she says and 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 then mr potato slides up next to you and says uh that uh that festival i think is being put on by the by the music college as well so you might be able to find an actual music teacher there i keep telling you that miss turnip (laughs) Well, you know, um, we, we, I really would like to go because there's people my age there too, but I'm just going to help this poor kid with this flute because they are not playing it right. <laughs> and I, I can't stand watching this kid. <laughs> and like... I let that person this kid. <laughs> like, that's not what you do. You, and I, like I, I get chewing on it. Off. I like they're the they're just taking the flute instead of playing like this. They're going like this. <laughs> That's not how you blow on a flute. What are you talking about? It's making noise. No, no, you you, you have to uh, turn it sideways. Okay, you blow. <laughs> and you. Yes, I'll get more cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> That's actually on my list as well. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll demonstrate to how to properly play a flute because I, this is bugging me. That mm-hmm. it, it, wait, whose NPC is this? Mine or yours? I have no mm-hmm. idea. So I, I, so we're not, I, the kid, yeah, no, it straightens it out completely and and is able to even play a note correctly, which is like a big step because before they were just using this thing like a corn on the cob. You know. Yes, I will go grocery shopping tomorrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, um, if you go to the festival tonight, maybe you can pick up the charity cans. Says the, dry, says the Fruit Loop Roll Up Driver. He's still here. But do you have any <laughs> charity? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Do you have any charity in your um van? The Fruit Roll Up Truck? No, I just got fruit roll-ups. That's, Are you going to give some? You should give some to the... I did. I threw some... a bunch of them. Look at them. They're eating. They're I know, more. but that... And he just like reaches back in some nowhere and just like throws more. You don't this see is... where he's throwing them from. There's just like a vacuum void. He's just reaching back and just throwing more. 
Okay, where are they coming from? The van. No, but okay. Hey, JD, you want to come see my van? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's got a bunch of fruit roll-ups in it. So you're offering me free candy in your van? It's just exactly. start booing you. And you're a stranger? I'm not a stranger. I'm the fruit roll-up driver. <laughs> hey, I saw this movie in school. Look, why don't you have a funnel cake to fruit roll up die? Okay, I guess so. <laughs> what is your name? Anyway? Me? Yeah, fruit roll up die. What's your name? Fruit tea roll up. Okay. <laughs> Not writing that down. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> okay, my name. Yeah, have a fun old cake. Relax for a bit. I'm sure the world's okay for a minute without their fruit roll-ups. Listen, this this van and the and the fruit roll-ups have been in my family for generations. Generational wealth. It's have generational fruit wealth in fruit roll-ups. <laughs> we came over on the Mayflower. Printing your own money, but it's fruit roll-ups. In fruit roll-ups. Yeah, um, I don't think fruit roll-ups have been around that long. Have you ever heard of fruit leather? That's where, that's, yeah, where that my, was, that's where my family started. That wasn't trademark. Okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> you should make a um, funnel cake flavored fruit roll up. That's an idea. But you know what? Yeah, and out of nowhere, he's he's grabbed. He's he has a half funnel cake in his hand. He's like, "There's something a little different. I need to test a few different kinds of funnel cake." This is good, mm -hmm. but I need different ones. It happen it so happens that there's a dial on the funnel cake machine, you know, different <laughs> settings. There's like graham graham cracker, I don't know, chocolate, uh vanilla bean, that's a thing, right? Uh cranberry, uh white claw. I don't there's like a whole slew. You know, it's like a whole <laughs> um situation. And yeah, you're able to sample out just uh all kinds of, of funnel cake in here. Yeah. So yeah, fruit tea rule is over there. He's just like, like stuffing his face. Yeah. You know, he's like, you know, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. My great 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 grandfather told me, if your base product doesn't taste good, nothing else will work. I don't know about this base product. So you talk to ghosts. Huh? You talk to gold? No, no, he's sitting in my van. You want to go see my great, 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 you gotta yeah. get around on a rascal, right? I mean, he's not walking at that age. No, no. Um, just then, Miss Turnips comes in with great news. She she's holding up her her two thousand five BlackBerry. Um, nice phone. <laughs> the servers don't even exist for those anymore. It's still really nice. It's got a keypad in it. Wow, um, I want one like that. That's better than this thing that I'm always breaking. She has it like it's just like on like there's the chargers plugged into the phone, right? But then the chargers on some weird adapter, and it's just like this whole um, Rube Goldberg machine like situation until it just plugs into like their landline. <laughs> I'm just I'm just yes handing this shit. I don't care. <laughs> Um, she's like, I just got off the phone with the festival organizers and they've agreed to move the whole thing here for the orphans. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That's great. I get to see some people my age and get to hang out a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Well, if they're moving it here, then says the, says the, says fruit tea roll up of, of mm -hmm. the roll up, you know, conglomerate group. Uh, I'll, I'll go on unlo unload my van, and he runs out like, like spreading fruit roll-ups everywhere, just in his in his wake. 
Um, the landmines? Yeah, yeah, like landmines. Just like, you know, just like he like opens his mouth and he's like, ah, for, for all of us come out. As you start hearing this, the, the telltale signs of a van backing out. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. You know, and it, you hear and just this large machinery sound. And just sudden screaming from children outside. Are the children okay? I don't know. What do you do? I'm running. I'm running to see if they're okay. Okay. Um, the reason they're screaming is because the van just started transforming into this giant like stage. I have never seen that before. It's like almost like a transformer. Like it's just the van, just like and all of it. It's just like fruit roll up, like you know, a fruit roll up festival. Yep. <laughs> and their fruit tea roll up is just like he's like getting ready, like with the, with a the guitar, like check 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 one two. But the mic I isn't on. He's just saying it. Is he any good? I mean, he's just strumming a little bit. I just started like ten years ago. I'm, I'm not, I'm not anything. Yeah, you need to move your fingers a little on the. Oh, you no, mean that's. Like this? Is that is that what I do? No, you're just pressing them randomly. You have to actually press on the behind the fret to make. Oh, the oh sound. can you come teach me? Come on stage, come teach me. Yeah, I'll teach you. Okay. We've got around clearly, they're, they're very interested in learning as well. Clearly says I'm a music teacher, apparently. I will yeah, show exactly. them how to properly press down the strings on a guitar so that when he strums, they make notes. Oh, do you know any songs? Yeah, a few. I used to do a lot of music. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, let's let's test them out. And, and he like grabs the mic. <laughs> Everyone here, the wonderful JD. And you just suddenly hear this huge roar of like people oh. out in the streets. They're just like marching in to this orphanage. I, I'm just gonna like, like stare yeah, at JD, JD, JD. I just want to like stare in shock because I was not expecting that. And um, you know what? It, there's no sign that says I can't play it. So I want to play Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> there's no Absolutely. sign that says no stairway. So I'm going to play it. <laughs> as you start as going, yeah. I was going to say, as, as, you're, as you're playing, and it's you know going to take a while because uh, it's a long one. Um, yeah. this, this actual, like in front of you, you start to see a vision of a stairway, you know, <laughs> surrounded by clouds. It's going up. There's like a, a set of pearly gates at the top of them. They open up and there's just a door and it just says, Dolly Parton, home for wayward children, director of operations office. What was in those funnel cakes and fruit roll ups? Because I, yeah, because I'm seeing something really weird right now. As soon as you see it, it sort of just drifts away, right? Almost like an almost like an omen, or a a vision. Or something was in the funnel cakes as it rolled up. Or food, or food poisoning. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's anyone's game. It might have been the white claw funnel cakes. It, it might have been. And that's a strange thing. Um, as you as you're finishing up stairway to heaven, uh, and everyone's just going wild. They're like they're like throwing roses upon the stage. They're throwing more white claw funnel cakes. Um, they're also throwing like these new in enhanced four loco fruit roll ups. <laughs> four loco fruit roll ups. I know, Christian. How can I cook this? Four loco fruit. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh Janie gosh. falls off the stage, and, One and, and the crowd and the crowd is just like they catch you. Woo! 
Total crowd surf situation. Total crowd surf situation. Just hopping, yeah. oh. flying. We'll pause a sec. The slider's arms everywhere. Yep. Yes. Yes, exactly. Um, and then they let you down gently right next to uh, Grizzly and the gang. And they're like, Miss Janie, this is the best day ever. It's so great that you brought this whole festival here for us. Uh, while they're chatting, Miss Turnips gets up on the stage trying to remind <laughs> everyone that this is a dry event uh, and that there's plenty of club soda to go around for everybody. Oh, um, okay. I'm gonna, I have a twisted tea I'm gonna put down. <laughs> 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 uh, and I, off to the side, uh, you suddenly uh, just out of the corner. It's all, you didn't see it there er, initially, but there is like a a beer garden that just was like, and it, and it's just like twisted tea. And on the side, it also still shows the you know four loco fruit roll up <laughs> sign. <laughs> and there's just like it's a giveaway and all this kind of stuff. It's just like open bar. Well, it's a dry event, though. No, the original festival wasn't. <laughs> this, this, one, this part, I think, this part's like just right outside of like the orphanage gates, right? It's just like right there. It's like adjacent. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Frizzles is over there in disguise, the poodle, and is like having a drink, <laughs> like sunglasses and like a hat on. So Miss Turnips can't see her in a bowl. Well, hey, that means I can have one. Just just one for now. Because I've got all these kids I'm watching. I'm not, still not sure how I got roped into watching all these kids, but. <laughs> As Mr. P- you know, Mr. Potato comes around the corner. But he's drinking a club soda. I mean, if you want to just go ahead and. Like, let loose. You're totally fine. I I don't drink. Well, who else is like dour look on his face? Who else is watching the kids? I mean, I am. I mean, I work here. Okay. And I'll have a sip of my twisted tea. Just Still a little. Too... I mean, <laughs> for now. All right. <coughs> All right. Apologize. Turnips up on the stage, assembling a drum kit. She's about to like go off. You can tell she's got like she's put she's put like a head like a headband on, right? Tying it off. She's got like a little like a like a leather vest with all these patches and whatnot. She's kind of changed. She's got the the, key, the drum key, tightening up all the things and whatnot. And she gets in her little throne, and just like does the twirl, and then just like Dave grolls the shit out of it for a while, just unrehearsed just totally off the cuff she's just up there like razzmatazz miss potato head can you play an instrument me uh yeah i can actually uh uh i can actually uh play the uh the uh, the, the upright bass the good one do you have yeah. one no i don't no. oh no, I I don't have one anymore. I had to sell it for yeah. the children. That was really nice of you. Not really. They were they kept trying to you know break it. These kids they're, they're just they're not that great. Um, Did you try to teach them how to play? Yeah, and they kept stealing the strings. How and, do you uh, steal this? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then when I told them to stop, they did, and then they stole the entire thing and hit it. How do you? You know how big those are? Yeah, yeah. They 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 go around. They run around in a gang and do it, and then they split up and then do it again. Yeah, this area, this whew, they're they're a handful. They seem say perfectly the to me. That's because they're full of sugar at the moment. Oh. When they crash, whew, you don't want to be here. Uh, well, I was going to suggest you 
come up and play with your bass since you know how to play it. I know how to play the triangle. But you want to come up on stage with your triangle? Yeah, I got show? a special trick. Uh, I wonder if he's got like a harness. Uh, we could check. <laughs> and he's like, oh, and he runs up the stairs. I'm going to have another sip of my drink and just got to watch that for a minute. <laughs> so he's up there talking very animatedly to Fruit Team you know, roll up. And Fruit is like, you just don't hear anything. It's like, <clears throat> and out, out of out of the out of the side area, you see like him in a in a giant harness that's like now tied to like this giant thing that's gonna swing him over the crowd, and a tri- tiny triangle. The accompanying Miss Turnips, like they're they've got like he's just punctuating all of her. You know, she finishes a big drum loop or whatever. As he's like flying through. Yep. Like very nice. Well, I guess I better get up on stage and what instrument are they having me play? Guitar, probably. Sure. Yeah. You get up there nervously. (laughs) Get to the top of the stairs. Fruit tea roll up is like. It's your turn. You got to get on stage. Okay. Get up. Miss Turnips is like, go on. You were born for this. And also to raise his kid. (laughs) Smooth. (laughs) Yeah, I go up on the stage and uh, I won't look at the crowd because I'm a little bit nervous about so many people. <clears throat> uh, in, in the front of the crowd all the people in the front of the crowd are these all these people of your age group and they're just like yeah because they heard you at the beginning and they're just like jenny 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 and they're just like it's just like the the level of like you start seeing waves in the crowd Wow. So I guess I will play. Um, I will play how I will play my song and just not still not look at the crowd too much. Okay. Uh, as you're playing that, playing your song, um, fruit tea roll up. Then ends up coming coming up up there as well, and he's taking over the mic, and he starts belting out like the longest ballad, rock ballad that you can you can hear out. You can you know I don't I can't think of a song, but it's all fruit roll up based. It's really weird. He's um belting out that last chord or whatever you call it the secret chord yeah um frizzle since no one had been watching her it wanders up on the stage and pees on the mic cord electro electrocuting fruit tea roll up nothing too bad just like a i guess like just you know it's like a surprising shock i don't know why hmm well, that wasn't, um, Mr. Rollup. Maybe you should take a break. Uh, I just need a drink. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Hey, like, pops, pops two four locos. Drink with me. Sure. All right. Ready? I just starts chugging. Okay, um, I guess I'll chug. And you hear the crowd going, yeah! Chug, 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 chug. I don't really drink a lot, so I think I'm going to, like, cough. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Absolutely. Um, the kids are coming around again. The whole the whole group of them, the gang, as Mister Potato would call them, he's afraid of children. Um, and they've got I'm not afraid of children. Big buckets just... of popcorn, and they're Ooh. like, we're wondering if you make popcorn necklaces with us and then eat them while watching an uplifting spider-man movie uh, well, uh, we're all watching turning red turn it yeah no that's the one <laughs> it's like a it's like an encanto turning red double feature okay yeah um is the festival still going on mm-hmm. and the kids are like yeah inside our hearts <laughs> The festival is now spread throughout the orphanage as well. No, People, all these, all these like college age students have discovered discovered the uh, the the, the uh, funnel cake machine and oh, are just no. popping out white claw funnel cakes. <laughs> and it's, to... it... go ahead. I said I'm just gonna like kind of look at that and just collect myself for a minute. And I guess I want to make sure they all have plates. Oh, they're not eating off the plates. They're just like, in the meantime, also melting down because they heard about, they heard about from one of the kids about the fruit roll-up syrup. So like, there is a giant mess of fruit roll-ups out of, out of a bunch of pots and pans. They're just like dripping all over the place. You see, just like, uh, I can't keep up. I can't keep everything clean. The kids are trying to help clean. And they're like, don't worry, miss. We'll clean up after your best friends. Why well, don't even have their phone numbers yet? Who needs phone numbers? There's Twitter. Here's my snap. <laughs> I can't get it to work on my phone. It still won't unlock. <laughs> I can't get it to oh. work. So. Oh, I can help you with that. And it's just the, one of the, and he's got like the genius bar over on his shirt. Nice. It's like, my name's Steve. How can I help you today? Hi, Steve. I don't know how to work my phone. I keep saying on mute and I can't unlock it and I forgot the pen. And I don't know how to check my email or my snaps. <laughs> Please help. Oh, I can help you with that. And he like pulls out from nowhere again, like just this just this laptop. And like, like, can I see your phone for a second? Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Here it is. Okay. And he just like plugs it in. So how have you been? Uh, I'm a little weird today, but it's fine. Oh, okay. Did you try one of the funnel cakes? Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, they're really, really good. You know, it's it, it's so hard, you know, because I'm really trying to keep slim, but uh, how could you avoid eating a funnel cake? And you just press a button. Isn't it great? Yeah, right? Like, I love festival funnel cakes, but that's way easy. Anything that makes it easier, you know? Uh, let's see. Janie? Yeah. Yep, yep, I got your phone. Uh, looks like you didn't back it up like you were, you know, when it first initialized, so... I don't... Uh, Let's put, you know, here, sign into this computer and we can get you backed up and it'll be all, all ready to go for you. Okay. I'm, like, going to sign in and I'm going to, um, I guess my notification pop up. I say, what's that big six-digit number beside the mail? Beside the what? The, like beside the mail yeah. icon, the, the envelope. What's that big six, six digit number beside it? What does that uh, mean? I quit. Nope, I can't do it. As an <laughs> IT guy, I refuse. I refuse to to work with anybody with that many notifications. <laughs> so wait, I guess got the. <laughs> That's what broke you, the notifications. That's what we're working with, is the notifications. No, I refuse. <laughs> Done. <laughs> no, uh, no that, those are your notifications for your mail. Like, do you, I mean, I think it, I think it maxes out at 65,000. Oh, I have a lot more than that. How did I do that? Did I break it? I mean, I want you to know that hurts my heart. Like a lot. Well, okay. I don't know how to work this. It's okay. You're 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 signed in now. We can check your mail. 
and just delete them all. Why the? But what if it's something important? You haven't what? been checking it. It's not important. Could be a coupon. It could be. What if? What if that person who told me I won a lottery emailed me again? You won't win the lottery on the email. <laughs> oh, I got it. It said that I um. <laughs> <laughs> I won the lottery. Jamie, this is supposed to be fun. Don't make me go to work. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, and also, I got one that said that I'm a, a, um, a princess from a foreign country and I got I inherited 10 million euros. You're not, you're not supposed to check those emails. You don't read those emails. Oh. Um, but I, oh, okay. I guess I'll delete them then, but I really hope there's nothing important in there. Miss yeah. Turnip comes running in in a panic, and she's like, "What are all these emails that just keep flooding our printers? <laughs> they go, they're everywhere." <laughs> IT man, we need your help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I hit print all oh. my emails? <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, <clears throat> I can work with this. Uh... The thing, the funnel cake machine. Also a printer, printer scanner. You know, it's the, so, the, the three in one. Yep. So your emails are now coming out in funnel cake form. So they're just flat sheets, but and they're emails, but they're actually funnel cakes. So they're delicious. <laughs> and you can also eat them. Slowly but surely, all your emails are now going, going down, 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 down in number. But now, like, the funnel cake machine is just spitting them out. Blaze is the, is the ink. Yep. Oh, I'm just going to eat this urgent political email. Wow. <laughs> oh, look, an email from my uncle telling me how, like, you know, like the deep state is like, you know, taking over America. It's oh. <laughs> it's the white, I think that's white claw flavored. Mm. You yeah, know, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In I've the never meantime, seen my email that low before. Yeah, no. It's always best to check your email notifications. It's for me, that's anxiety ridden if I see it. Like, oh, I'm well, do you need a minute? Do you need to like decompress? Yeah. I think there's a quiet corner here somewhere. Yeah. No, I just need to drink. Got a drink on you? Uh, I didn't finish mine from earlier. I I don't know about that. But, ooh, I don't... he re reaches over and he picks up, like, a four loco Fruit Loop? What the hell? All right, whatever. And he just starts chugging that. The genius bar kid is just like, he's just, he's like this big and this tall, just like. <laughs> But my phone works now. But your phone works now. And I reset the passcode to zero 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 zero. Strongest password there is. <laughs> I'll never forget it. And then like a thirty seconds later I forget it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh yeah, Miss Turnips comes back in, uh starts very politely corralling some of the people out. And but Jamie, um don't I don't mean to be in, in too much of an intrusion, but you've you've helped us out so much today and the, the children have taken such a liking to you. We're just wondering if you might um do, do a little PowerPoint presentation at their bedtime. I mean you read them a book. Oh. I don't know if I could do PowerPoint. How about a bedtime story? Okay. I, I didn't get any phone numbers from the people leaving. Oh, no. Uh, everyone just starts, like, just, like, show, showing you their snap on the way out. Here. 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 <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be able to figure it out. I'll try to. Maybe I'll get, like, one. <laughs> like, just follow me, like, on my YouTube. You know, like... It, it, like right now, I'm running a special on you know on a Surfshark VPN. <laughs> again. Okay, sure. I'll... And again, and again. 
<clears throat> and I guess I have to read these kids a story. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you have kids books here, right? Oh yeah, they have like a whole, it's like a Beauty and the Beast style library situation in this place, right? Like you go in and there's just like rows and rows and it's super tall and it's got that really dangerous looking ladder that just, you know, is on wheels. Like that to me oh, just seems scary. But do what? I'm going on a ladder. Oh yeah, it's super fun, but you know, maybe it's it's almost like it goes and then it's like, uh, you know, like almost roller coastery, but like somehow safe. I don't know. Um, but I have to go on it. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> It's motorized even, you know, so just like scoots you along uh, and you find like the perfect uh, bedtime book for these kids. Um, they have one room, right? It's just, it's one long bed with like all the orphans <laughs> in it, right? And they're stacked up like, they're like, they're like, like double stuff Oreos. It's like, you know, like Charlie Bucket's grandparents situation. There's like kid here with the head, kid here with the head and then uh, just like a total row. Like they're, they're and they're all just so excited. Uh, they don't for you have to read own this book. Yeah, you know, your budget cuts. Um, I don't know. They're, they just they really need someone uh, to really steer the ship around here and turn it around. And they're all you don't do it. Then it's someone with a little more you know musical knowledge and, and maybe some organizational skills. Someone really great with the funnel cakes, all of that. You know, they're just looking for for some guidance. Mr. Potato, Mr. Potato comes around like she was in charge of the, of the budget for the beds and uh, just bought the one because it was on sale and got the funnel cake machine instead. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> it was the end cap at Costco, you know, just saw yeah. it and was like, that's it. That's the bed for the kids. You can buy anything at Costco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good thing you have a membership. Do you? Yeah, exa the, the executive okay. one or whatever. Whatever the expensive one is that you never get your money back on. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'll read this story. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll like look at the book. This is a, it's a lot better than the book that I had in my bag. So, yeah, I'll read this one to the kids. And it's yep. probably just some goofy kids book. It's a, it, it's a, only because it came up in my life recently. Uh, don't let the pigeon uh, drive the bus. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't let that happen. I don't think. Yeah. Don't let the, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Or okay. do let the pigeon drive the bus. Well, you never know what'll happen until you try, right? Exactly. Exactly. We'll find out. When we come back, indeed. Wait, is that are we really doing? I don't. Know. I say we do it. Hey everyone, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, come, you do, stick around. Join us back here in five to ten, where we will find out whether Janie will do the mysterious good thing that the angel is trying to get her to do, or the equally mysterious bad thing that the devil is attempting to tempt her into. When we return. <laughs>
back, everybody, to Halo and Horns, a game where an angel and a devil... Am I pointing right? Uh, you can't see my hands. <laughs> I try to get a mortal to do uh, a thing or another thing, depending on, on which one of them is trying to do that thing. That made sense. Don't worry. Uh, I am playing our angel. Um, my, my best friend in the whole world, Morshadi here, is playing our devil. And Janie is our mortal, who up until now has been having all kinds of adventures this day, uh, including funnel cakes and a band, uh, a man named after fruit roll-ups. It's, you know, it's been a veritable hoot, gang. And we invite you to uh, see what happens next. Last we saw JD, she was about to read a bedtime story to a bunch of orphans who don't deserve it. Or do they? Or do they? The residents of the Dolly Parton Home for Wayward Children have been nothing but sweethearts all day uh, in and around this mess of drunken funnel cake eating folks that have invaded their home. What do you do, Janie? I think you're on, uh, you're on mute. Yeah, I said I never actually learned how to get off of mute. <laughs> but you're in your phone now. Yeah, we got yeah. that unlocked, so that did help, right? Yeah. So I read the story. Were I correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They love it. They tear up at the end. You know, so it's like, it's like a happy cry, right? Um, but then also they just all write to sleep, uh, except for Grizzly, who has a tendency to stay up late and, and watch over the other kids to until she knows they're safe. Okay, oh. well, uh, Grizzly, you can go to sleep. Everybody's fine. She clutches her crowbar and, and nods off. <laughs> clutches her crowbar. I just got what you just said. <laughs> okay. They're concerned about the safety of their kids, all right? So I will, if they're all asleep, I will quietly walk out so that I can go meet people my age. Okay. Uh, outside, uh, everyone's like dispersing. A couple of them are just off to the side uh, and they're talking, they're just talking about going to get some food, you know, like at a, at a local pub. It's kind of yeah. just coming around the corner. She's like pulling up one boot, like, you know, check, she's putting in her earring. She's like ready to go. She's coming along. Uh, oh, she happens you're... to have some literature about the uh, orphanage with her as well. <laughs> okay. And who's uh, going to watch the kids? The groundskeeper, Lady Brisbane, is coming. Oh, she's like, yeah, Mr. Potato. He's staying, he's staying with the kids all night. Uh, it's his turn. And uh, okay. one of the kids is, no, they're not coming. No, that's not right. Yeah, it's just it's just Lady Brisbane and uh and Miss Turnips. Because those are real names. Yep. <laughs> they okay. exist in canon, I, I will accept nothing else. They're gonna show up in a mass game now, so <laughs> that's my rule and they have to. Okay, let's go get some food. Yeah, as the group heads down, um the, the local the local pub the local tavern um, is just like it's just the most welcoming place you've ever been to uh, inside it's just like the nicest sounds the greatest smells um, and behind the bar uh, it, it, the 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 bartender says what what can I get you um steak and cheese okay. And my friends are all, well, I don't really, they're not my friends, really. I'm, I'm just meeting them. I want them to be friends. I don't have very many friends. Um, says, well, I would, I'd consider you a friend, dear. And, yeah, see, and, I have one friend. And uh, so does Lady Brisbane, who, coincidentally, I'm going to make the same voice for because I'm not doing two tonight. Um, she's like, yeah, samesies. We're all friends here. Um, they order as well. Elizabeth next to you also it's like you've got a friend in me as well. Oh, wait, story. I have lots of friends now. This is great. Um 
Miss Turnips and, and Lady Brisbane also order the steak and cheese. They they think it's an excellent suggestion. Um, when theirs comes out, the it's the owner of the establishment, uh, Mrs. I Temple like Smith. That. Yeah, Listen. that's great. Um, yeah. And she's like, well, turnips, Brisbane, yours are on the house. Anything for a couple of ladies from the orphanage. Drinks for you too as well. But just you two, she says. <laughs> uh, and then scampers off. Like oh, that's nice. Uh, like you say, the owner pointed pointed at us. Like I, I, as I say, Elizabeth, like we're getting free drinks too. Because I got you covered, Janie. Like I mean, that's kind of rude that the owner just came and gave them free food and drinks and not us. I mean, Miss, that's kind of odd. Miss Turnip with just steak juice dripping down her face. It's like, oh, it's um, you know, it's because of the kindness of the local people that we're able to to, to do so much for the community. And give back, and they give oh, back what? as well when they can. To hey, us. You, you know, guys, what we could do mm-hmm. is you all can come over, and we could like do a makeover day for the kids. Well, the children would love that. Miss Turnip says, if, "If and she looks at Elizabeth, if you and all your friends would come and help paint the walls and lay the bricks and um, pave the new kickball court." Or we could have fun with the kids, play games, and the kids, eat yes. funnel cakes, and order lots of junk food. We could do all of it. And then after they go to sleep, we can all hang out. And Miss um, Turnips says, "You know, you could do all of that all the time if you were a, a volunteer at the orphanage, like we were, a full time have- volunteer." But Elizabeth, that's okay. Elizabeth turns to look at you like, listen, I'm, a, I'm, uh, I'm a, like, it's my last year, but I'm an economy major. Don't ever sell yourself short. You, you know your worth. Ask for your worth. That's a lot of work. He looks over to you said Miss Turnip, Turnips, Turnips. I apologize. Uh, mm-hmm. That seems to be a lot of work for little to no pay. If you say volunteer, I get it. It's an at will at work state, but you still have to pay people what they're worth. Yeah, I need to pay for my Netflix and for all of my um, subscriptions and my phone bill. And oh, internet. Yeah. We have all of those um, provided, you know, she she had, she shows you her, her Blackberry, the cord is still <laughs> yeah, it's it's here like it's so long it's coming like down the block around the corner to the pub and she's like see i've got my phone right here so you have all of my subscriptions like because I, I i have to pay them or they won't let me watch so we've they'll even say, got oh, the peacock please. everyone has peacock i don't <laughs> um what else yeah she says we get um we say definitely Netflix, and and the and she lists all of them, right? The whole the whole slew. Uh, I'm not gonna. Okay, but do you have the kid protections on? Because I really have to watch my, um, the you know the movie where the guy is stalking the person and then they stalk him back and it's this whole big circle of stalking. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, the password is just four <laughs> zeros. It's it's fine. <laughs> You know, this is going to take a while. So I say we get another round of drinks. And Elizabeth just like does this symbol. And here comes here comes the waiter. And just like whew, puts a bunch of drinks in front of you. Like, so just like Elizabeth just slams, slams a drink. What else though? I mean, subscriptions are great. But she already has the subscriptions. What else are you offering? Well, there is the lap pool. It's this one big lap around the whole place. I guess you could call it a moat. (laughs) I guess we (laughs) didn't establish that it had a moat. No, it's just a lap pool. It's around the back. I'm going to retract my previous statement. You have a lap pool around the back, the sunroom, uh, the small and the larger garden, uh, the hedge maze. uh, There's the underground crypt. 
you know, um, the spaceport. Stars space and port. ends for the kids. <laughs> you have a spaceport? Real Moss Eisley situation. It's a bit of a dump, but yeah, it's functional. I'm starting to think that this orphanage is more like <laughs> like a Miss Frizzle situation. You know, she's on the rotating staff. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is, is part of this, uh, full run of the facilities, obviously the subscriptions, but, uh, room and board, uh, and it just, you know, another round, you know, uh, that's all great and good, but I would assume that she could come use those things, even if she didn't work there. You know, yeah, if you're, if you're, you know, you can sign up for a community membership if you're in like the zip code, um, very nominal fee. It's like going to the rec center, sure. So, I mean, and Elizabeth well, turns to you, Janie, like, so there's no real reason to work there. And what about rent? Well, if you if you work at the facility, there's no you know rent you know rent is included, and she like leans in and whispers, "And we let you use the pool where the kids don't pee in." <laughs> okay. And would I still have my nights free? Hmm. We all take our turns, you know. Like Mr. Potato, for instance, is home tonight. You know. Uh, I really, you know, we're out here living it up with you city folk. I don't know why her voice changed, but it's different now. Okay. Um, I'll think about it because I really would like a job, but I also want to like enjoy myself. All about that work-life balance, she said. Yeah. See, my friends here, we had a good time today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Miss Turnips. You have to understand, you can't just jump t- jump to this. You gotta, you gotta, like, lay it out on the table. And I think you're mm-hmm. keeping something back. He's like, well, you know, it is Miss Turnips, not Miss Turnup. I can't have too many tonight. Um, and then Lady Brisbane just, like, passes out right into her. She's having, like, a chowder to follow up her steak, you know? She, wow, many. that's a heavy oh. meal. Yeah, how much is she? Right. <laughs> She's had like six IPAs, right? Um, There's your and, second problem. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you IPAs. see what happens when you overindulge, dear. You end up like Lady Brisbane. Now we have to get her home. Would you, would you help us out, please? Yeah, sure. Um, can I get can a do- box, please? <laughs> yeah. Um, the 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 uh, the owner comes around, boxes up your meal. Um, and like t- takes you, le- adds in like six cinnamon rolls, um, as well. Just, oh. you, might, you, you might need these for the morning, pointing at, at Lady Brisbane. She's like, don't want to overdo it. Poor Lady Brisbane. You gotta have something for breakfast, and and for Lady yeah, Brisbane, that's another IPA and a cinnamon roll. Well, Fair enough. But- Maybe she should cut back on the IPAs. Maybe. Everyone should come back. Cut back on the IPAs. They should just like disappear. That's right. That's a hot take for me. Um, okay, yeah. Like Elizabeth's like, oh yeah, I you know, yeah. You know, I'm like, listen. I I just know that there are a couple of jobs opening up at the at the university, the music university that I'm an economist at. Um, <laughs> I know that there are jobs opening up there. I'm just saying, you know, you don't have to take this job. There's, I put a good in, good word for you because you and I were best friends like that. Yeah, please. Um, yeah, what kind of music economy job do you have? Uh, I mean, we could go and take a look now. Like, we don't have to go back. The, the, the common room is open and it has all the job posted there right there. Okay, well, let me make sure Lady Brisbane gets back safely. I don't like leaving um, a lady drunk. Miss Turnip does. Hazard, they're going the exact same location. Um, Miss Turnip's like struggling, struggling a little. Lady Brisbane's like eight feet tall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's going to take a couple of people to get her home. <laughs> okay. She's really swollen because IPAs really bloat you up. Yeah, they blow you up, especially um, after chowder and the steak, you know. Right. Just, just like whoop, 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 whoop. it's it's <laughs> this, all the sodium, you know. She's like just um. She's like I could really use your help. She's like drowning on just under one arm, you know. Elizabeth, can you help us, please? And after <laughs> I get her back, then I'll go yep. look at the stuff at the school. And, There's and a wheelbarrow. It's like absolutely, of course, of course. And yeah, grabs one one arm. Like we're, we're like we're we're dragging Miss Brisbane down the street like we're we're Jesus with the cross. <laughs> um, and Elizabeth's like, see, see, this is where we're gonna have to deal with Miss Brisbane. Obviously, can't hold her IPA. Like, can, can you imagine this every single week? Yeah, I don't think I could do this every week. Miss Meredith is like, it's okay when we remember to bring the wheelbarrow. <laughs> But she should. You, she really needs to um, maybe talk to somebody. This isn't good for her health to get drunk this much. You know, yeah, maybe we could have that talk with her in the morning. You know, maybe more funnel cake, less <laughs> funny drink. Nah, that got away from me. <clears throat> maybe Miss Turnip. Uh, maybe less white claw funnel cake. It's kind of weird that you're 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 you you just have access to the white claw funnel cake around the kids that are just easily to push a button. Well, it's just the syrup. It, it, the syrup cooks out the alcohol. It's just the that you know unique flavor that you can't get anywhere. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um. Seems a little risky to be around people who can't manage to have proper policy. You know what I'm saying, Janie? You know, it's a holiday and all. Since it's St. Blumenthal's Day, uh, the day the music, <laughs> music died. Nope, that's a song. <laughs> you know, it is a sacred holiday, so you're right about that. Um... <laughs> I got the donate link, folks. Yep, donate. <laughs> Let's uh, let's uh, donate to the St. Blumenthal's holiday. Bergenthal's. Bergenthal's. Yeah, uh, it is now. Yep, St. Bergenthal's holiday. Uh, Help us raise funds for hilarity, for charity, for Dion's birthday. Hey. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, Lady Brisbane gets tucked into bed. You know, she's in her like uh, teddy bear pajamas and everything, and um, she's unswollen. Now, so she's only seven five instead of the whole eight feet tall, uh, which is her normal size, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Miss Turnip's like, all right, now where, where are we going? A I'm music going studio, the, I hear. No, the music school. Look at jobs that pay money. Should I bring some? See, Miss Turnips. <laughs> she's like, but I'm, I'm bringing corn dogs, and she's got like eight in her hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> You think of everything, don't you? Like, well, they just like they were just delivered, and like the corn dog truck is like speeding <laughs> off. So we get them piping hot every what is it like three a.m. Uh, across the street, you suddenly see you know the fruit roll up truck and like fill the tea fruit roll up like it looking out and just like like my nemesis, you're working my street. Get off my street. The corn dog truck just disappears in like a cloud, like the. Exhaust is like mustard scented. <laughs> you certainly have a lot of food trucks here. Yeah, you know, gentrification. <laughs> you know, that's a bad thing, right? But we're, we're sticking it out, us and the kids, really showing it to those yuppies. <laughs> Giving it to those yuppies. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, because I've been to like. I'm sorry to gentrification. Got me. <laughs> not the eight foot lady. Not the not anything else right now. It's the gentrification that got me. I'm sorry. Food trucks are the vanguard. <laughs> they, they, they come in and then it's over. Yeah. 
yeah, I went to several protests against the, um, the people moving in here and building all these gray houses. Ms. Turnips is like, I appreciate that. You know, you should tell me about that, you know, because I'm still working on my thesis about uh, 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 what exactly the focus is. So maybe you and I should talk. Oh, you know, I, my dorm room is over here. I got all my equipment. We can we can talk over drinks. How about that? Okay, you can well, we're, my thesis. where's the job board? Uh, it's over there. It's, it's along the same line. Okay, because that's what I really need to a job because I don't have okay, one right now. Let's go. Like, bye, Mr. Yeah, kind of over. We got the corn dogs now. Um, Miss Turnip's younger, cooler brother, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Radish. No, nope. <laughs> it would still be Turnip. Uh, unless it's a brother from another mother. That's true. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Mr. Radish. Uh, he's got sunglasses. He wears them at night because he's cool. Uh, leather jacket, suede shoes. No, that's not right. <clears throat> jeans are like tight but not like too tight you know what i mean comes in he's like yeah what's up i go to school here too conveniently <laughs> and let me tell you if it hadn't been for the orphanage i never would have made it oh you're an orphan i guess <laughs> he says no i um i worked there and got such a glowing recommendation from Miss Dolly Parton herself said I got a full ride here and now I'm going to be a music studio exec. Oh, that's awesome. I would love to do that, but I really need an actual job right now because I sort of lost my last one because I overslept like two weeks or two weeks in a row. You slept two weeks. <laughs> well, I mean, I overslept and I would woke up too late to go to work and I missed my shifts and then they got upset and yeah, no job. You know, I mean, you know who doesn't get upset when you oversleep? Orphans. <laughs> I don't know. They seem kind of needy. They just make you funnel cakes. They cheer you up. How long has that funnel cake machine been there? Um, you know, it's a lease, so they replace it every couple of years. <laughs> After fifteen thousand miles. <laughs> fifteen thousand cakes. <laughs> But you gotta bring it in every so every every three thousand miles for its for its oil change. Yeah, it, it's the the syrups. You gotta clean the the tubes and the yeah, all of that. Um, <clears throat> transmission fluid. And other people so, there might. <laughs> so Elizabeth, Elizabeth's like. It's it's right over here, and there's this like giant job board with lots of little flyers on it. Most of the flyers, though, are for concert and event uh, uh, event coordinators. Um, some of them for our local for for local breweries and and well paying jobs all across the board. Oh wow! Look at all of these jobs. Let's see if I can find one where I can oversleep and not get <laughs> fired. Most of them start, if you look at it, most of them start in a, the, about mid, mid afternoon. Okay. <laughs> mid afternoon. <laughs> oh, look at this executive job. I probably won't qualify, but I'm going to get it, grab it anyway. Yeah. Two hey. stars. Apply for whatever whatever you want. You know, you, if you don't, you know, you you miss all the shots that you don't take. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, Mr. Turnip. No, he's radish. <clears throat> Mr. Radish. Senor Radish is like, what about this? And he like kind of brushes some flyers aside, and there's one there. It's a little. It's got a little bit of dust on it. He polishes it. It's it's actually laminated, so he's able to polish it. Um, he, it's like a, it's like a glossy, uh, headshot of, of Dolly Parton herself. Right. Um, and it's like VP fast track program, 
via the Dolly Parton Home for Wayward Children. Oh, and there's only is... one. It's like a tear off, you know, like you got to tear the tab off with it. It's like a little octopus piece of paper, right? You got to tear the little tab off with it. And there's only one left on there. Um, oh, I'm that off. It says inquire with uh, Miss Turnips and or no, just Miss Turnips. And he's like, that's a coincidence. That's my sister. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll apply for this one too. He's like, well, that's great news. And he uh, he gets on his skateboard and jets off. He is so Flips cool. Flips his hat backwards. <laughs> like, you know. he is so cool. <laughs> Wizard just looks very hoodlum. Weird. <laughs> okay, two jobs to apply to. This is great. <laughs> Which one are you gonna apply to? Why can't I apply to both? No reason. Okay, I mean, I'm, chances are I won't get either of them, but I want to apply for both. And then I'm applying myself. So when I call home, I can be like, yeah, I applied for a lot of jobs. And, you know, it won't seem so bad because I'm not sitting on the couch watching um, murder shows all day. And that doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, I don't see any problem with that. Right. As you're like talking all of this out and explaining it, you notice that the, the slip of paper that you pulled off of the flyer has turned into like a Willy Wonka style golden ticket. <laughs> wow. That's, this, was this like this before? This is awesome. And it's got like a faint glow to it. You know, it's almost like it's almost like it's humming to you as well. Like some sort of like angelic choir. It's just like trapped and not not trapped. No, that's this is infinity. Um is you know, this faint this faint little golden glow coming off of it. This is awesome. Do you see this? And Elizabeth looks over and just That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you see those all the time, you know, coming out of like you know, cereal boxes and stuff. I don't know. Come on, let's check it out together. I suppose so. <laughs> uh, and we'll we'll head out and on the door, oh, look at that. Um uh, is a is a sign on the door. That says uh, auditions for for a new television show. Everything's coming, you know, coming up, Janie. <laughs> oh wow, this is auditions. And okay, I'm going to audition and then to the <laughs> <laughs> to become the VP. I can do everything, right? Absolutely. This has been a really weird day. <laughs> the uh, on the on the on the flyer itself, it says a. Um, it says that the the competition itself is actually going to be held at three o'clock in the morning, at the Beer <laughs> Gardens. Uh, on campus. Of course, three o'clock in the morning. Of course. Um, what time does it say for the on the golden ticket? Does it have a time? Um, it says uh, it doesn't have a time. It's just sort of like. You, you you just kind of feel the sense that you that no I'm sorry that I can't do that um, no it's it's just sort of beckoning you to, back towards the orphanage you know there's like a tug almost okay how am I going to do both things you can have it all it seems okay. like conveniently the beer garden's on the way to the orphanage 
At least that's, there, what my, that's what my Google Maps is telling me. I don't know. Yeah, there were beer gardens at the, at the orphanage. So, I mean. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We are going to do this audition. And then we're going to get the um, VP job. And you are going to be my economist. And help me we're out of money so that we're not spending all of our money on a long bed <laughs> in a phone cake machine and a roll up truck. And this is all gonna work out. Okay, let's do it. Uh, roll as up. You're heading, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got as you're heading back, you see the beer gardens right side right outside the orphanage, and there's quite a few people, and all of them have a little stickers on their name that say Janie. Which, you know, you should have figured. Because it's Coming up, Jamie is the TV show. <laughs> but uh, all of them are, you know, they're just kind of standing around. They all have like different types of drinks in, in their hand. Um, and then there's a person with a clipboard just standing there. Beyond the clipboard lady or person, this other, this lady comes running, screaming frantically. Uh, she's like, run, run. The audition's off. The director was just three raccoons in a trench coat. <laughs> are three raccoons, one of which is just wearing like sunglasses and like a little beret, you know, like all like director style. And they're just like, you know, like scratching, you know, wildly. Uh, one of them has the only non IP in the whole place and is like drinking it frantically because it's what they have, you know, is just like under the under the tap, you know. Uh, just completely wrecking the place. Uh, all of the other Janies just go stampeding down the street. Um, some of them are popping fly like like confetti. It's weird. It almost turns into a parade. Yeah. This. Okay. This is just odd. And how did three raccoons in a trench coat put the poster up? Hey, I've, I've I mean, seen... you could do you could do like anything, right? I mm -hmm. suppose you put your mind to it. I've heard of flimsier deals going through in Hollywood. That's all I'm saying. So there's nothing on an on an audition place now. Everybody's uh, gone. No, the person who takes his clipboard is still standing there, like. <sighs> just, okay, like, so... Into their headphone. so can I audition now? I've got another um, one lined uh, up. No one else. Uh, no one else is here. You got the part. Great. Okay. Um, here's my headshot could, that I could be really have right. in my pocket. Well, <laughs> you, do, you do have it, yeah. Yeah. All right. So you do know that this part for ever coming up, coming up, Janie uh, requires you to uh, be able to hold your liquor, right? Um. It's kind of a reality uh, yeah, show thing where you like hold your liquor and try to do things, and it's just kind of a silly thing. But uh, it pays it pays two hundred thousand dollars per episode. Oh wow! Uh, do I have to hold Good my point. liquor for the whole episode? Yeah. And what if I can't hold my liquor for the whole episode? I mean, it's just that's just part of it. We'll need to do a test shot right now, though. But you're gonna get it. You're the only Jamie, I suppose. Okay, but I have another interview to go to. Uh, I mean, it'll take a second. So here, he pulls out like, <clears throat> like two bottles of Jack Daniel. I have to drink all this right now. I mean, just take it with you. Just kind of like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. Can you hold one for me while I? As long while we as, long as you come back drunk, so we can do the test shots. Uh, I don't care how long it takes you. Yeah, we'll be back in a little while. I've got to do this interview at the school. <laughs> I'm like sipping as I walk towards that <laughs> orphanage. <laughs> yeah, you get to the orphanage. Miss Turnips is there. Uh, Miss Lady Brisbane is is all she's cleaned up, right? Um, her her werewolf hair is slicked back, uh, Teen Wolf style. No, she's not a werewolf. Just in my fanfic. <clears throat> um, no, so yeah, she she's there. And she's like, "Oh, Janie, you're back. What is that in your hand?" It's a um, 
a, a drink for the TV show that I want to do to get $200,000 an episode, but I have to drink. And I wanted to come and do an audition for here because I want the job here, but I also want to be on TV. No, no, but I have to do all of this. Not that. Also, that's horrible for your liver. But this, and she, she's pointing at the, the, the other thing, the golden ticket. Yeah, the golden ticket. I want to do this and I wanted to get $200,000 to... I guess I'm supposed to just drink. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. Where did you get this? She's like looking at it like in awe, you know. From the board. Ooh. At the the place, the I'm sorry, I've had a lot to the school place. She's like, but this is this was my brother's. She's like looking Yeah, at I met your brother. He's really cool. He wears sunglasses and skate skateboards. You met what did he do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was really cool. No, but what did what did he say? What do you mean you met him? He said that he, um, something about being here, working here. But no, you don't, Benny. You don't understand. My brother passed on ten years ago. Oh, so I talked to a ghost. It must be a sign. This was. He always said this was the reason that he came on as headmaster of of the school, Dolly Parton School of Orphans. <laughs> <laughs> gifted X-Men. <laughs> well, it's too bad that he passed away. He seemed really nice. Um, Looking at you, she's like, you, you know what this means that I can see ghosts now. Bruce Willis style. <laughs> I'm done. Mr. Potato, Mr. Potato comes out of the side that she's hitting the bottle a little hard. I've only had a little bit of this, but I feel a little bit kind of woozy, but she has a dead brother that's really cool who rides a skateboard. Hey, did you used to ride a motorcycle? Can you wear no. a motorcycle jacket for me? Can I see you in one? Um, she produces her own and it's like the back of it, it's got like a big patch that's like his face, like one like teardrop. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. She's like, we have the maid for everyone who works at the orphanage. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I came here. Back pocket. I came here for the VP thing because I want job, so I have money. And after I sign the contract, I'm going to go back and do my audition. And this is going to be our new econo- eco- economist who is going to do all of the stuff so that we have more money. And I want to get some more people from the school. And this is going to be the best orphanage that Dolly Parton had ever made for wayward children. These children are not going to be wayward. They're going to be unwayward. As, <laughs> as you all turn up, as you all... X-Men. <laughs> As y'all turn around, Elizabeth is making out with fruit tea roll up in the corner, and it's just like the sloppy makeout session in the oh, corner. No. Like it's just it's just gross and bad. And ugh. get a towel. Yeah, like there's fruit roll up, just like spitting out everywhere. Um. Okay. I guess she's not going to be our economist by the way, but that's what <laughs> I that's what she said she would do. And this is going to be the best wayward school that's been non wayward for the war- wards. Miss Radish looks at Elizabeth. Maybe if she brushes her teeth first. Yeah. So where's the where's the thing that I sign and then I can go do my audition? Yeah, she just produces contract and says right there, headmistress, Dolly Parton, home for awesome children. Oh, it says awesome now. Yep. And I had it amended. X-Men. Yeah, and it just shows you know you you would live here. You'd be their primary caretaker. Funnel cake maker, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Can I write and I get superpowers? I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm writing and I get superpowers like sloppily. <laughs> it's your right. It's your it's your it's your negotiation. And she looks at it and they're like, we have a lot of vats of things that you could try falling in. We just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we got the Joker. 
God, what you hear a fruit tea roll up safe from the corner. Uh, and Harley Quinn, so. Okay, I'm going to sign this, and then I'm going to go to my audition, and I'm going to get that role, and I'm going to get this job, and I'm going to do everything. And as, as you sign it, sign that piece of paper, it, the, the, the world just flashes white. And you have completed Miguel's task, the Halo's task, of, of taking on. What was your task? Um, so, from the from Halo and Horns, the task is to adopt an orphanage full of orphans. But I, I modified it a bit to take over the Dolly Parton home for orphans. Oh man! Congratulations! And you, and you just did it just slightly sooner than mine. I I I, <clears throat> I was I really to, nervous. Yeah, I tried to just like do it right in there. My task was to get you uh, essentially. Uh, Sloppy drunk and uh, on the town, <laughs> oh, <laughs> in, in in a very viral way. Um, and I was hoping the two hundred thousand dollars an episode would do it. It was. I thought that, that was, was it. I thought that was it. <laughs> I was going to go. It was back. my hail mary. The raccoons were mine. <laughs> yes, the raccoons were the best. I was going to go back after I signed the contract. <laughs> it's only one or the other, and you and and the. The uh, Halo one out on this one. So, thank you very much, Janie. You gave me for sure a run for my money. I oh, those notifications. Um, Speaking of everyone, thanks for hanging out and check the link in the chat if you still want to help us raise money for uh, for hilar Ooh, it just moved. hilarity for charity. Uh, the link's right there. Um, I guess I'm outroing myself. I've been Miguel. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading off the night pot. Uh, you can find me on the internet places, uh, Twitter, Instagram, etc. at Miguel underscore classical. You can also find me here tomorrow evening as we continue with issue number two of Halcyon Pride, a masks actual play. I'm very excited to be uh, portraying Carlos the Outsider, cool alien with a heart of gold. That's it for me. Okay. Janie, do you want to go next? I'm so bad at outros, so um, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to make y'all laugh. <laughs> uh, don't try to stay away from the IPAs. That was very good advice. And I don't, I don't know what else to say, so I'm just going to move it on before I start rambling about silly stuff. Okay. Are you on any uh, shows or potential shows in the future? Or? Yes, I just uh, I completely froze thinking of them. Just follow me on Twitter, JNEFOT7575, and I will try to update it before I go on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I am more shoddy. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you can find me on Twitter at more underscore shoddy. Uh, more shoddy in pretty much everywhere else on Discord. Uh, Twitch and I think everything else. So um, I'm a PPTA fanatic. Uh, always GM because I love doing it. Uh, and occasionally stream. And I think that is it for us and for TTRPG. Thank you so much. Please donate and we'll see you next time. <laughs>